the Schler Chase is next up then this is a grade two over two miles again but for the older horses this time and at the top carried off need for David Robertson Crisp for David Hooley who's also got game on Jazz Midget for David Robertson two for one Leon van Rensburg Fuente Manette for Darren Thompson and the sure thing for Joshua Sutherland so only seven runners but a really hot looking race with plenty of previous winners in this and away they go I should imagine they'll be hanging about in this one as they get to the first and they're all safely over it although David Robertson's horse Jazz Midget was a little bit untidy in it looked for a moment as though he was going to have a repeat performance of the first race as they get to the second I'm sure he won't mind a repeat performance at the end uh, Fuente Manette was the one who made the mistake this time for Darren Thompson at the back in the maroon with the white sleeves but two for one has settled down in the lead then for Leon van Rensburg in the blue with the gold cap and he races up past the stand the fences in front of the assembled throng as they get over that one that's the third and then this next one they're going to take will be the final fence on the next circuit and they're all safe to go with that one although once again jazz midget for david robertson was a little bit untidy so passing the winning post then with a complete circuit of the track to go it's two for one who's got the lead then for leon we've carried off need in second place and in third is the sure thing gap then to fuente manette in fourth as they take the fence a while one he's crashed out there another david robertson faller have carried off need has gone that was a crashing looking fall there and that one's out of it but remember in the last race he had a fall early on and his other one won so we will be hoping that lightning does indeed strike twice as they get over the sixth and there's another one gone and it's crisp for david hooley so bizarrely the first two races have seen a david robertson horse fall followed by a david hooley horse falling so over the water we go we've got just five left in this net and it's two for one it was clear in the lead these are the big guns of the jumping training and they get over the next ditch and it's two for one in the lead then from the sure thing game on Fuente Manette and Jazz Midget as they get over the ninth and they're all safely over that one with two for one in the lead the sure thing second Fuente Manette third then game on is in fourth and David Robertson's Jazz Midget is just the back marker in fifth place and as they race downhill now towards the final three fences well this is the fourth from home and over that one they go and they're all safe near that one although Chris was a little bit slow they've got three more to take then now and two for one races down here with a two length lead from the sure thing in second a gap of four lengths then to the other three are headed by on the inside Fuente Manette game on on his outside and trying to come between the two of them Jazz Midget they're racing down towards the final three fences then they've got just over four and a half furlongs still to race and it's two for one who leads into this third last with a two length lead better jump though by the sure thing who now comes alongside the three are chasing are getting considerably closer game on in particular is now making a good looking move around the outside but it's two for one who's got the lead still here comes game on the sure thing is still there but a little bit one pace jazz midget and fuente manette still closing they're coming down towards the final two fences then now they've got two and a half furlongs to go it's game on closest to us Long time leader two for one on the inside. These two are two or three lengths clear of Fuente Manette. Back in third, Jazz Midget on the outside. Over the second, last they go. And it's game on. Who's an hour about a length clear? Coming to the final fence, gets over it nicely, but a better jump. Molly two for one on the inside. These two are locked together. They race inside the final furlong. It's game on on the near side. Here comes Fuente Manette though now, absolutely charging up the center of the trap. And Fuente Manette is beginning to get up for Darren Thompson and racing up towards the line. Fuente Manette is going to take this one. Fuente Manette wins it close for a second. Just game on the sure thing and then two for one jazz midget at the back and fuente manette for darren thompson came with a storming run after the last and took that one pretty cozily so fuente manette is the winner for darren thompson game on for david who he was second the sure thing josh was on third jazz midget for david robertson fourth and two for one for leon van rinsburg was fifth